In 2015, Northwest Crops and Soils team began a research trial to investigate strategies for preventing and reducing powdery mildew on cucurbits, like squash, cucumbers, zucchini, and melons. In this video, we'll provide information on how to identify, scout, and prevent powdery mildew. Every year, seemingly without fail, cucurbit plants become infected with powdery mildew. Powdery mildew first appears as white, powdery spots that generally start on one leaf surface and then spreads to both sides and plant stems. Infection sites may also turn yellow. The infection can ultimately lead to premature death of the plant. Powdery mildew grows well in high humidity, moderate temperatures of 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and shady conditions. Spores and fungal growth are sensitive to extreme heat, above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and direct sunlight. The best time to scout for powdery mildew is during and after periods when these favorable conditions are present. To scout for powdery mildew, get close to your plants and examine both sides of the leaves. Also examine the stem and fruit. Be on the lookout for white spots. Powdery mildew fungi require living plant tissue to grow. Year-round availability of crop or weed hosts is important for survival of some powdery mildew fungi. Special resting spores are produced, allowing overwinter survival of the mildew. The mildew spores are carried by wind to new hosts. To try to prevent infection, try using tolerant or resistant cucurbit varieties, planting in full sun, and spacing plants to promote airflow. Even still, these diseases are likely to worsen given current and impeding climate changes that call for more frequent rainfall events and potentially lengthening the growing season. Another prevention method could be the use of biofungicides. Biofungicides are a type of biopesticide, which is a potential low-impact management tool that is still being evaluated for efficacy. Biofungicides contain microorganisms that work as the active ingredient to control certain pathogens through competition, producing a toxin, predation, and or inducing plant resistance. Most organisms in biofungicides on the market today occur naturally in soil or on plant surfaces. The Northwest Crops and Soils Program of UVM Extension has been evaluating five different biofungicide products, Actinovate, Cease, Double Nickel, Regalia, and Sonata, as well as two other products, Oxidate and Champ, for their efficacy at preventing and treating powdery mildew. Results from 2016 are available on our website, and results from 2017 will be shared during the fall or winter of 2017.